Wow, <laughs> I can't believe how high up we are over Edinburgh. I am Brew and incredible views. This is the most unesthetic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh no, that is sad. Okay, we are ready. Let's go. I've been told many times that Arthur's Seat is a must for incredible views over the city of Edinburgh. So today, we are finally visiting this ancient volcano and we are making our way to Holyrood Park Road, the starting point of the hike. Something I've been mentioning to John and maybe one of you guys can tell me why I'm thinking this way. I find that a lot of Edinburgh architecture is reminiscent of Kiev's architecture and I'm really not sure why that is. There are quite a few buildings in Kiev that literally look like some of the buildings in Edinburgh. We're about 100 feet away. 100 feet away. Okay. Look how pretty this looks. So I guess we gotta get to the top of that. I really hope that's Arthur's seat. <gasps> Imagine it's not. I've never been here before. That, that's, that's why I'm a little bit concerned about my sense of direction right now. I also think that today we have been especially lucky with the weather. It was supposed to rain. It was supposed to have been very cold. But as you can see, the sky is, it's a little bit cloudy. There's a bit of cloud, but it's still blue and it's not that cold. So we should get pretty incredible views. Cooling down? Yeah. <laughs> We are definitely dressed way too hot, but the weather forecast <laughs> said something completely different to what it actually is. We're not even anywhere near the top and you can already see so much of Edinburgh. John and I were just saying that we should have brought the drone, but we assumed it was going to be crazy windy. Um, but just like last time when I booked the Highlands tour, the weather forecast isn't right. So we are gonna make our way up there. We are taking a little Highland Spring hydration stop. The views are incredible. I can't believe how warmly we dressed for this. I've got an iron brew in my bag. And I'm going to drink it at the in top. In case of emergencies. In case of em <laughs> an iron brew emergency. Halfway. Halfway uh. awkward. <laughs> I think going down, we're gonna try a different route just because my shoes are kind of slipping a bit on these stones. But otherwise, wear shoes with really good grip and preferably pick a day when it's not raining because I can imagine these stones getting incredibly slippy when it's wet. I can't believe it, it's a little bit flat here. I have to stress, the air is so beautifully fresh here. Wow, <laughs> I can't believe how high up we are over Edinburgh. I think we're almost here. Yeah. Just one last little climb. Under the top, we can have the iron brew. <laughs> we made it. We have reached the top. <gasps> Adorable. That's really cool. This is the top. We're next to this. I had a vision of drinking Iron Brew on Arthur's seat and now my goal is complete. Iron Brew and incredible views. It's pretty good, you want some? It's really nice. Um, Iron Brew Extra is particularly delicious. I think that's my favorite. Refreshing, right? So we have spent sufficient time exploring this area. The view is incredible and it's not windy at all. Now we're going to make our way down. Would you recommend this? Yes. Definitely. Right. Yeah, it's beautiful and you get to see so much as well. So let's go. So I've seen a few people slide down on their bum on this area. And to be honest, I feel like that's the right idea. And I might do the same. Oh, no, this is definitely, this is bum. This is bum city. Yep, I'm bum. <laughs> we did come up from over there. So we're going to take a slightly different route. You're like a gazelle. John is another breed. That's because you grew up in Wales. You're like a sheep. This was my commute to school. This was your commute to school. Yeah, he's from a very nice village in Wales called Pontypreed. We will have to go there someday 
because I would love to visit it. This is a very steep step. Look, see how it's very big. I think this is better for you, John, because you've got massive legs, right? <laughs> what? I meant like really long legs, <laughs> but also really muscular. I feel that this is the best viewpoint. This is beautiful. This would make an amazing photo stop. Wow, and you can see the water and the paths. You actually don't need to go up that far to get a good view, do you? I really love how colorful these hills are. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yeah. It looks so pretty. This is St. Anthony's Chapel. Hey John, that is Swan Lake. <laughs> We've made our way down. Now we're gonna head back to the hotel and get some food. Yeah, that was an adventure. It was very, very fun. I highly recommend it. This is called Jacob's Ladder. What? It's so tall, there's so many steps, but you can see some trains. So the second room that we're staying in is 502 and it is a larger room and we just came out the lift and it is right here. So it's a lot easier to get to than the other room. This is our room 502. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, straight away. This is beautiful. This is such a huge difference. I am actually so impressed. You know, for the first two nights, John, we could have stayed in this room for an extra, what, like 10 pound? Yeah. I think per night? Yeah, should have done that. Should have done that. We just checked into the bigger room in the hotel and I am exhausted. <laughs> I will be doing a full room tour and a full hotel tour as well in a separate standalone video. It is probably already up, so please take a look at that. I will link it down below in the description box. Right. Did you make it even, even sweeter? What did you do? I'm gonna try John's hot chocolate cocktail. Oh, very smooth. Mm. That tastes like a hot chocolate I had on a farm in Switzerland once. Same, I, I made. It was good. That was good, good hot chocolate. Yeah. The Swiss. Yeah. Um, I was on a school trip to Switzerland skiing, and our bus broke down in like the middle of nowhere, and we were taken in by these lovely farmers who gave us all hot chocolate. There was about. 25 of us I think and we we're all like 13 14 years old um, and we were freezing and we were hungry and we needed the bathroom and for some reason they wouldn't let us use the bathroom on the bus so we were like desperate and these Swiss farmers just came out and they let us use their house while our bus was getting repaired and that is what that hot chocolate reminded me of so yeah John very good it did something to my senses it awakened a memory it's the perfect scene isn't it? Mm -hmm. I do like that we get this nice view outside of this very spooky building. Um, but to be honest, all buildings look a bit spooky in Edinburgh. Good morning, everybody. It is time for us to go downstairs and get breakfast. We got breakfast for one of the days that we're staying here just to have a look at what it is. I'm looking forward to it. I'm quite hungry this morning. So let's go and check it out. The breakfast is pretty good for the price, I'd say. You can get porridge and you can also get some fruit salad. Um, John got some pan au chocolat. Today is our last day in Edinburgh and we're heading to Victoria Street to do some shopping. And we're probably gonna check out the museum. I'm not so sure yet, but we're just gonna have a very relaxing day before heading on to Inverness. What is your problem? <gasps> Yesterday, John took us to, what is it, Jacob's Ladder? Yeah. And that was horrifying. By accident. By accident, okay. Halfway. What's wrong with you, genuinely? I don't understand why you keep doing this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you guys might remember this heart and we keep seeing people walking past it and spitting on it. So I think that's quite interesting. We're seeing history in action, I feel. The tour guide actually told us an interesting story about a couple of tourists not knowing what the heart means. And the guy like proposed to his girlfriend in the heart. We're just gonna pop into the St. Giles Cathedral because we've never been before. I wanna see what it's like inside. beautiful and all the stained glass windows are just so intricate and detailed you can also scan this and get a virtual tour that's really helpful if you want to know more information about St. Giles Cathedral I am in Macca's mash bar and I got my favorite cider. I had it last time and it's just, it is the most delicious cider I have ever tried. It tastes like juice. It's actually quite dangerous because of how soft it tastes. Like you could, you would think this is a soft drink. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. It's like apple juice. Yeah, it is like apple juice, isn't it? And I believe this is made in Edinburgh. Look at all the different mashed potato options. This is what they're famous for, their mashed potato. I love mashed potato. I think if you guys love mashed potato, this would be the place to come. We both got the vegetarian sausage. I got the cheddar and chive mash, and John got the horseradish mash. I'm gonna try the mash on camera because that's like the star. like your mum's roast. That was really good and really filling. Um, John and I are gonna go get ice cream now as well because we are on vacation and I don't need an excuse to eat ice cream. But that was delicious, I highly recommend it. I think I recommend it more for dinner than for lunch because it is quite hearty. No complaints though, this is exactly what we needed today, especially after yesterday when we went to Arthur's seat. Both of us are very tired, we're kind of lacking in energy, all the steps, you know, Edinburgh's very hilly, but this was delicious. I'm so glad that they were able to accommodate us today because normally it's quite busy, but yeah, recommend. This is it, this is our next stop. The chocolate hazelnut. Chocolate hazelnut. And this is dark chocolate and strawberry sorbet. This is the dark chocolate. It is really chocolatey. Like you can actually taste the frozen pieces of chocolate in it. The dark chocolate one is the one everybody's talking about online, saying that it's like the best ice cream ever. It is so good. And the sorbet's got strawberry in it. Like real strawberry. back at the National Museum of Scotland because I loved it so much last time. I really wanted to show it to John as well. Hopefully we can learn a little bit about Scottish history while we're here before leaving Edinburgh. We're just gonna head to the technology section first because I have a feeling that's the bit he's gonna love the most. I love this section too so much. We are both very big fans of technology. So that is actually an interactive display. You can type in any word you want or even your name and the robot arm will find the correct corresponding letters and spell out your name or the chosen word. Isn't that cool? Mm. As we don't have that much time left in Edinburgh and we've got to catch a train, we are rushing through this museum to try and see as much as possible of the most interesting exhibits, or at least the exhibits that interest us the most. I'm taking John to natural history now. There's dinosaurs and fish and all that stuff. He loves that stuff. I've never gone this way. I've always gone the opposite way. So this is how we spend our time in Edinburgh and now I'm really excited because we are on our way to Inverness. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.